Who? What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie Bialdi. day. So I recently uh, made a knife for Captain Electro, right? And everybody saw it. And if you haven't seen it, go look at it. It's really cool. I did a Tonto, right? And I did it Damascus. And it was the first time I ever did anything Damascus. And uh, I didn't fold the steel and hammer it and fold the steel and hammer it and fold the steel the way you're... The, uh, the way Damascus the way Damascus knives are made no I bought Damascus bar stock just a plain piece of bar stock I drew my pattern on it I'm like I'll just show you and then I just cut and grinded just grinded and I made two of them um one because I had two pieces of steel um two because the first one I made right here um came out so bad i mean good but bad at the same time and i will show you what i mean because this is the first one i made do you see that? <laughs> that that grind right there is horrible um so this side is almost a little bit better but i went way high up here it was the first time i was trying to do these and um so basically i needed a little practice but i wanted a very very simple design something i could do quite easily and I basically took a rectangle knocked off an edge and then just started grinding that was it and I got this now here's the part where if you plan on making yourself some um some Damascus I even wrote down what my buddy gave me um because it, it was really really important so the steel is 15 and 20 um and 1095 that's that's what it is. It's the most common way to find Damascus bar stock, right? <laughs> the one I gave to Captain Electro is much nicer. Now, the good thing about Damascus is it's got these beautiful patterns in it. So it hides the imperfections a lot better than a regular stainless. Like just like this, you don't really notice it too much. But but if I show you, that's the way. This one, the tip, I mean, the curvature isn't as nice as the one I, I sent Captain Electro. I sent him the better of the two. Um, but it's still really cool. It's still really cool. I might have to um, make these holes bigger because I just made some starter holes and then was going to go into it again and just didn't. Um, and then it was heat treated. Um, I went to uh, I went to my buddies where my forge is, and uh, and that's how that's how that got heat treated. Ooh, look at that. Um, and now I have like my own forge. And that's at my buddy Joe's, Joe M, because we're doing our um, Twisted Mr. Knives. So so now, next time I do one, I'll just go over there. And he's good. Joe's good. So, okay, so I had to get an, an acid. And I'll tell you why. When you start with a piece of Damascus, right? And you're thinking, oh, great, I got this bar stock. It's going to be really cool. And you start grinding away. As soon as you hit the belt and start going... Your Damascus goes away. I didn't know that. Like, I had no idea. I'd never, ever made a dis Damascus blade before. So I am grinding. And as I'm going, be, 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 like, I can't see the part that I'm hitting. I'm just looking be, do, 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 away. You know, I'm just doing my thing. And then I took, turned it over to inspect it. And I went, <laughs> there's no Damascus. Like, you can see the edge, how it's, <laughs> it's a little wobbly. <laughs> you can really see that. Um... Uh, so basically what I did is I, you look at the edge, that's how the entire thing looked. And I'm going, no way. This guy sold me fake Damascus. It was just painted on his on. I was pissed. So I was getting ready to call the guy and I contacted a buddy and I said, dude, I just got this, this Damascus bar stock and the Damascus came right off when I was grinding. And he's like, no, it didn't. I said, yeah, it did. And I'm like trying to show him pictures and he goes, bro, I'm going to bring you over something. So he brought me this oil right i mean not oil but like a uh, acid and and it sucks that he was getting stuff from radio shack because there's like no radio shacks so i have to find where you can get it because he just brought me some to to dip it in and um it's uh printed circuit board etchant and ferric chloride or something like that and that was the mix and he's like here we're gonna make your damascus powder pop back out so so he looked at my grinds first and he went <laughs> like come on man i was like it's my first one so so he dips his stuff in the acid and almost immediately the freaking pattern starts coming back so i was like yippee kaye so 
I have this one that I have to do scales for, and I have a bunch of different G10 and and different things. I have a bunch of scales just sitting in a, in my Jeep. As a matter of fact, look at that freaking line. Um, so what I need to do is just throw some scales on there and make it look great. Um, I heat treated it already, so I don't know how drilling those holes out is going to be. And who knows, maybe I'll just find really small pins because I don't have any tiny, tiny ones and go from there. But I mean, for my first one, this one came out pretty cool. Um, the main purpose of this video, well, because people were asking, did, did D-Bat actually make that knife or did, you know, did he just put handles on it? I made the knife. I made the knife. This is this is one of mine. This isn't some pattern I came up with. This is a standard Tonto pattern. This isn't some D-Bad design. This is just D-Bad made. Um, but all in all, it's it's pretty cool and it'll work. You know, I gotta I gotta sharpen it up some. This is right off the grinders, um, and I had them sitting for a while. I made them and I had them sitting and I had no idea what I was gonna do with them, and then um, that's when Captain Electro you know, sent me a box that had some foam letters in it. And I went, bing, I know what I'm going to do. So, um, so this one's going to be different. I'm going to do the scales different on this one. But here's the thing. If you guys plan on doing your own Damascus knives, um, understand this. When you start grinding, it goes away. You need to, to get an acid or make an acid. He made his own, I think. Um, you need to make your own acid or buy acid, however it works. I'm wondering if we can buy it. And you dip it and you wipe it. And eventually, um, the way he did it for me, it made my pattern come back. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, otherwise, I would have had this just stainless looking blade. But um, that's it, man. It, it's literally, that's what it takes. I freaked out, man. I was like, raw, raw, raw. I was like ready, man. I'm like, he sold me cheap stuff. Look at that dip right there. I definitely need to regrind this, especially now that I'm better at it. Wow. Um, so I think that's my project today is just to go give this a, um, it's a really thin and sharp edge, right? As it is, like you can see how thin that edge is. I grinded a lot on this. Um, but um, I think today I might just do a little bit more grinding just on the edge. Um, to try and flatten that all out and what I might do is grind it this way first to dull it right and then make it flat and if I can make it flat then I can put the new edge on and it will be beautiful as a matter of fact hold on let me try to make it flat right now while I am going down into the shop why don't you guys I gotta move my head because I'm tall why don't you guys take the time right now to watch a few seconds of me turning it from bar stock to shape all right hold on I have some bar stock so what I did is I cut out my tanto I mean I drew out my tanto it was pretty cool right that's how I took it down from the bar stock all right so Let's uh, fire this guy up. I don't want to go this way because I don't want to cut up my belt. So what I'm going to do is go at a little angle. And I'm going to move my... That's how I made Captain Electro's wooden sheet. So I'm going to move that. And what I'm going to do is go at just enough angle to take away some of that sharp. I'm going to do the other side and I, I don't want to go crazy because I don't want to have to reheat treat so I need to keep it cool keep it cool man so basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking off the very sharp sharp edge and doling it out a little bit and now I, I can really start to feel it doling you don't sharpen the knife down, you sharpen the knife up. Doing this way is to prevent me from ripping my belt. Woo, it's too hard. All right, so now it's dull enough. I can try and make a straight line. At least straighter. And that's looking better already. Oh, 
we'll be able to see real quick what I mean. So you'll see up here where it's still shiny with an edge, right there where it's just pure Damascus, that means that edge is gone. It's much straighter, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to remake the edge. mean how it goes from Damascus to shine look at that right that fast that easy so this side just so you know see it's all Damascus right there and if I wanted I can dip this into the acid well if I had some I could dip it into the acid and make the edge Damascus but that's stupid So, now I can see my lines aren't, it's not 100% straight yet. I didn't grind too much off. Again, I need to protect my, um, my heat treat. So, I'm just going to do enough. And the high spots, I'll just grind a little bit more. And that'll take it down a little bit. By making it really thin, what this is going to do, it's going to narrow it. And then I'll be able to take out those little bows. Just got to try and watch my heat. Okay, so now it's getting really straight, really straight. So this is where I will do my final lines to give it the edge, um, the edge I want, what um, angle. The hardest part is just making it even and keeping it all the same. That's getting there. See how that's looking. Mighty nice, right? Mighty, mighty. It's feeling pretty sharp. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the angle even sharper, take off some of the burrs, the final, and I'll, I'll do it with a pull through after that, and um, just get that final edge before hand sharpening. feeling pretty nice. That's feeling pretty nice. I'm looking for something I can cut. I'm looking for something, something I can cut. Hold on a second. Hold on a second now. Okay, now obviously it's not hand sharpened yet, so it's just what it is. Okay. So it, it needs to be hand sharpened, but you can see 
just from that alone that we're getting fine enough to make really nice curls, right? So look at this. And this is without, oops, without hand sharpening. So that means this edge is nowhere near ready, but you can see ugh, what we're getting out of it, right? So that's not so bad. So I'm gonna give it just another pass, and then I'm gonna hand sharpen. pretty sharp right there. Some of the waves are still there without a doubt, but uh, I almost don't care. It's going to be for me to play with anyway. Now if you're wondering how many more of these I'll be making, probably not that <laughs> Buddy who's got the acid doesn't live here anymore. And I'm not a chemist, and I don't know how to make it. I don't know if you can just buy the acid for these, right? I have no idea. So, that's it on that. I'm going to call that one. And um, what I'm going to do now is go up and hand sharpen for a final sharpen. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. And you can see the Damascus kind of hidden in this, inside the steel like a little bit, but not really. You really need the, um, you really need that acid. I wish, I wish I could have said, dude, just leave it to me, but he took it with him. It was his. Um, so that's how I made the blade that you've seen Captain Electro using. Um, that's how I made this one. So now it's just uh, a little bit of final edging. Throw on some scales. And it's most likely either going to be um, G10 or Micarta. I've got a bunch of them in the truck. Like a bunch of them. So I'm going to possibly... Let's go for a walk. Um, possibly just use some of that. Make it make it happen make it crappin hold on a second as a matter of fact let's uh let's take a little walk i guess the dogs want to go out anyway I guess the dogs want to go out anyway come on boy where's roscoe here comes slow ass roscoe just taking his time got people leaving the house uh -oh. hey roscoe come up <laughs> all right hold on a second i dropped you all right so Got to mount you guys back up. I think I drop you guys more than I should, probably. All right, so let me see if I can't. My scales here. And I know I have a box of them. See, oh, here they are. And uh, so I'll show you what I'm looking at. Ugh. I ordered a bunch of scales. So I have. Black G10. I have layered black and blue G10, which is really cool. It makes a nice pattern um, with the black and the blue. I have more black G10. I have more black G10. <laughs> I ordered a bunch of black G10. Oh, there's some black canvas micarta. All right, that's going to be nice. Um, I don't know what else I have in here. Uh, black Micarta, that might be it. Uh, black Canvas Micarta. Black Micarta. Oh, this is blue, straight blue G10. That's going to be some nice stuff. This is the layered black and blue. You can see it's black on one side, blue on the other. 
it just makes it's like plywood it's gonna make that really cool and then some more black g10 so I have enough scales to um to get going on on this kind of project it's just about doing it now it's about picking out which ones I want to use and um, actually using it Let's see what the dogs are see what the dogs are doing wrong now the yard you're gonna notice I still have all those trees down they're not picked up because we had to have the insurance get involved and now I have to wait for the adjusters to send the thing and once the adjusters are done then I can finally have this cleaned up but I wonder it's not done yet and it's not ready yet we will see I don't know if I can throw this like this uh oh uh oh I uh dropped it it didn't that wasn't a throw i just dropped it really good at dropping oh <laughs> all right well that was the right distance i think because it hit on the tip hit on the tip <laughs> i'll tell you i don't know how it's not sticking unless i'm just not seeing it right let's try it out one more time <laughs> I might have to try it two more times. That hit dead flat. That hit dead flat. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm standing too far back. I still have to learn this thing. Ugh. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Well, it hasn't bent yet, so that's a that's a good thing. We're still straight. Oh, that was there. It hit. It hit in here and then bounced off of there. But hitting it sideways and smashing it, it's a good way to test to see if it's going to work. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. So, anyway, you get the gist of it. <laughs> maybe, I'll try, maybe I'll try a no spin, which I don't usually do. I don't throw a lot of no spin. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Okay, maybe it's the wood. Because that hit straight up. Oh, this is soft. This is mushy now. That hit straight in the tip and just bounced right out. So I'm blaming the wood. The wood is no good. There we go. Here we first try. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but that was my first attempt at a throw. The rest of the times, I just kept dropping it. And uh, still looks good. Well, I mean, aside from aside from all the waves, it's like a, it's like a piece of steel water park. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have left to do is a, a final edge and some scales. And I'll have a sweet little, uh, sweet little Tonto to play with. Not so bad. And then I can actually learn how to throw this thing because Every knife is different. If you can throw one knife, that doesn't mean you can throw them all. You gotta learn your knife. So, that's it. I'm gonna go dog hunting, wrangle these beasts up, and call that one a video. So, that's it for me. I am Donnie all day. Until next knife.